I feel like now we're at the cove. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me that it was more than just the one. <laughs> it's a nice boat, except for that enormous gaping hole in the bottom. All right, well, let's try pasting that hole. I can't paste that. Hey. This, this is true, I, I did, yes. <laughs> I'd get a nasty splinter. Mm, tastes like sirloin. Num num. Okay, I don't. Okay. I was about to say, I'm like, is it going to be the chewed gum? But okay, apparently not. It's the bay. Okay. So we can go back that way. Okay. So we got the reservation to do that. Still need to find the gold. And we still need to find a way to cheat at the strength thing, the capper or whatever you called it. And I love that they call it the walkthrough speaker to like a drive through. He's funny. Do you have a reservation? I do actually. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian <laughs> Yeah. Alright, the clock tower. And the guy's teeth, yes. Uh, excuse me, sir. Now that's just rude. I think he might be dead. I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. <laughs> Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! Ooh. It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me checking. <laughs> oh. I'll take that button, though. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> um. Yoink. Um. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. <laughs> Yoink. Biscuit cutter. And you said there's a biscuit too? Way. Oh. The unsanitary way. Throw his biscuits. That looks delicious. I don't need a whole barrel. 
I'll just take one. Thanks. Okay. Um. We have a biscuit. We have a jawbreaker. Gotcha. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. <laughs> oh, there's my club card. Yoink. Okay. Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Okay. So that's the, how I get the guy that tells me how to get to the island. Okay. Okay. Um. What's he gonna do anything? He's not much of a talker. No, he's really not much of a talker. He's dead. Um. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Oh, that, that guy's. Excuse me, but. What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold! 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 <laughs> gold gotcha. and nuggets and chicken! Oh. A treasure trove on deep fried bun! <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? Um... I'll have the, uh, roasted waddle mole. We're out of that, I'm afraid. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. <laughs> nice gold tooth you have there. Aye! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. It's one heck of a gold tooth, and blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror, <laughs> marinated in mayhem. There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Thunder Island. A seven foot tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind. Nice. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the <laughs> devil chicken. The devil chicken! The devil chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. <laughs> What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Okay. Maybe he'll return for me. This. Gotcha. I'll be ready for him. And He's done a little bit of everything then. <laughs> means me business will be thriving once more. 
To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger called. And the first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? <laughs> you see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy. And I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're yeah. a secretive lot. And I can't say I've seen too much of them. I, I, I can hear it a little bit. I was hearing... From a bunch of grunts, Wait, wasn't that the guy we were hearing? As filthy and hairy uh, Quingle or whatever? As you never hope to meet. But be of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. Okay. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. Now stop admiring it so much. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Meat flavored gum be looking mighty, mighty tempting. But right now, I be having this insane craving for something crunchy, something to crack me teeth on, something crispy and crackly, like me mouth water and tongue torture and chicken and lighter fluid special. I, if I hadn't lost all me chickens, I could be savoring that succulent bitter squab right now. Okay. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Well, good thing I've got something squishy then. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Mmm. This is really good steak flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Okay, but another, oh, there he goes. So we need to do, why you little scam? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you played on old Captain Blonde here. All right. So there's our treasure then. Um. 